తెలంగాణలో ఎలక్షన్ కోడ్ అమల్లోకి వచ్చిందని రాష్ట్ర ఎన్నికల ప్రధాన అధికారి వికాస్ రాజ్ తెలిపారు రాత్రి పది గంటల నుంచి లౌడ్ స్పీకర్లు అనుమతి లేదన్నారు ప్రభుత్వ వెబ్సైట్లలో రాజకీయ నేతల ఫోటోలను తొలగించాలన్నారు మహిళలు యువత కోసం ప్రత్యేకంగా పోలింగ్ కేంద్రాలను ఏర్పాటు చేయబోతున్నామని చెప్పారు ఏవైనా ఫిర్యాదుల కోసం పంతొమ్మిది వందల సంప్రదించాలని విక్కాస్ రాజ్ సూచించారు రాజకీయ ప్రకటనలకు ముందస్తు అనుమతి తప్పనిసరని స్పష్టం చేశారు బ్యాలెట్ పత్రాలపై గుర్తులతో పాటు అభ్యర్థుల ఫోటోలను సైతం ఏర్పాటు చేయనున్నట్లు చెప్పారు ఈ నెల ముప్పై వరకు ఓటు హక్కు కోసం దరఖాస్తు చేసుకునేందుకు అవకాశముందన్నారు నగదు లావాదేవీలు మద్యం సరఫరాపై పూర్తి పర్యవేక్షణ చేస్తున్నట్లు చెప్పారు నగదును తీసుకువెళ్లే సమయంలో పత్రాలు వివరాలు ఉండాల్సిందే అన్నారు focus this time is going to be on uh, on creation of a good interaction good uh, experience for the voters at the polling station special focus will be made this time on provision of facilities for the pwd voters in the polling station already action is being taken by the state government for uh, provision of permanent ramps of uh, adequate uh, of the correct uh, gradient in every polling station senior citizens and pwds will be assisted by volunteers appointed by the ro and the do separate entering line will be there for these people this is basically to to enable them to have a quick and uh, pleasant experience transport facility will also be provided to the pwd and senior citizens the ro's will make uh, provision for that they can use the saksham eci's app for requesting this transport visually impaired persons can take a companion along with them in addition to this there will also be the facility of dummy ballot sheet in braille in all the polling stations there will also be a voter assistance booth in every polling station for the first time this time uh, in the general poll home voting facility has been given to the senior citizens and the pwds the benchmark disability certificate so they will have to fill up form 12d and uh, give it to the blos who will be calling, collecting to their residences and uh, first giving them the form and then collecting the filled up form from them coming to the candidates if any column in the affidavit is left blank the returning officer will issue a notice to the candidate to file the revised affidavit with all columns duly filled in after such notice if a candidate still fails to file affidavit complete in all respects the nomination paper will be liable to be rejected by the returning officer at the time of scrutiny as has been uh, informed by the honorable commission the model code of conduct comes into effect immediately no loud speaker either static or vehicle mounted shall be permitted at night between 10 pm and 6 am there will be a 1950 number on which any complaints can be made it will become operational 24 by 7 from today onwards there will be a special software called integrated expenditure monitoring software which is being uh, deployed by election commission for the first time all political advertisements proposed to be issued on electronic media or otherwise shall require pre certification from the concerned mcmc the photographs of the candidates will also be there in the postal ballot and also in the uh, in the ballot paper which will be displayed on the ballot unit of the evm so in addition to the uh, to the symbol uh, the photograph will also be there flying squads video teams and uh, sst's will come into effect immediately for the control uh, and uh, movement uh, to control the movement of uh, uh, any liquid i mean contraband drugs cash liquor or any such thing like uh, freebies etc as far as uh, enrollment is concerned form 6 and form 8 will continue to be received up to 10 days before the last date of filing of nomination that is up to 31st of october